In my school, uh, we try to um, get the, the students to see the uh, Cambridge exams as just a lovely extra to do. Uh, it's not the aim of our courses in any way. So they go to these exams um, happy when they go in, they come out even happier. And then usually because our results are good, um, they and their parents are even happier. And so all in all, it's, it's, um, it can be seen as a challenge, but I, I just see it as a very, very useful uh, activity for all students to do. Generation X refers to the people born in the 60s and 70s like me, uh, people who are um, familiar with email and using mobile phones but not necessarily sort of completely digital. Uh, Generation Y refers to people uh, born from the mid-80s. Uh, they are much more sort of internet savvy and, and comfortable with the internet. Uh, but it's Generation Z who are born since 1997, so people who are 17 or younger. Um, who live a completely dig digital life. So um, for them, it would be as unimaginable having no Wi-Fi and no broadband as it would be for me, having no running water or no electric light. And so as teachers, I think we need to adapt to teaching Generation Z by um, accepting and embracing their sort of digital needs, as it were, and by using um, tablets and smartphones in the classroom in useful ways uh, and in really simple ways, so without um, buying uh, apps or anything else, just using the basic functionality of the phone and talking about what's on people's phones or what, you know, what's in a photo, to bring lessons alive and to sort of engage students. I think that the process of applying uh, what we've heard and what we've learned is a much longer process. Uh, I, uh, this is not going to appear in my Monday uh, classrooms, but I think that in the long run, what it does is it, um, it changes my uh, way of looking at the material and then my focus. So it's a bit like putting on different glasses. I can uh, see things more clearly. Well, I've been really impressed by the organisation, to be honest. It's run really seamlessly and the range of speakers has been fantastic. The guy before me uh, this morning was an academic talking about something really fascinating and, and really learned. There's been a huge um, range of talks and I think it's an impressive day. It's been, you know, I and the presenters and, and I think uh, the teachers have all really enjoyed it. Well, I think at these conferences there are always lots of new ideas and it's my chance to get out of the classroom and into this world of new ideas and, um, and hopefully uh, get enough information so that I finally can put them into practice. But basically it's just opening up my horizons. This is your third annual ELT conference organised by Exams Catalonia. I've been super impressed beautiful place, I mean great quality of speakers, we've had speakers talking about their academic research um, and some very practical ideas for teachers in the classroom, for using digital, for using smartphones, a real wide range and I've had a great opportunity to meet a lot, talk to lots of teachers about their classrooms and their context so it's been amazing, I hope to come next year.